Through Doluo, Feng Chi developed a naturally weak and pitiful body. Due to her unique body and martial soul, she was driven out of the village by evil. Later, she was picked up by the six seven sacrifices of the martial soul hall and became a small soul master in the temple. In the martial soul hall, the position of the holy maiden has been taken, and the fate of Qian Renxue has changed because of her. Keywords of the novel Doluo Martial Soul Palace's group favorite path, why did Zai provoke her? No pop-ups, Doluo. Martial Soul Palace's group favorite path, why did Zai provoke her? Download the full text. Doluo. Martial Soul Palace's group favorite path, why did Zai provoke her? Latest chapters to read. Chapter 1. Crossing Doluo. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Crossing Dolua, such a dog that's pounding my head with a hammer, don't let me run into you in the future. If I run into you, I'll have to kill you. In the lush forest, a skinny little girl dressed in cloth was slowly dragging her body forward. Her clothes were covered in blood that had not yet dried up, and her messy black long hair covered her face. The sunlight shone through the leaves, and a mottled light shone on her black hair, faintly visible with a hint of blood on her slightly dark, waxy yellow skin. Her name is Feng Chi, and she is a traveler from the Blue Star. The world she travels through is called Dolua Continent, which is a world dominated by soul masters. She has not yet fully understood the rules of this world, so now she can only walk aimlessly. After walking for a day and a night, the sky suddenly covered with a layer of dark clouds, and the cool wind was raging. As it was about to rain, Feng Chi quickly quickened her pace and finally found a relatively hidden tree hole to shelter from the rain before the raindrops fell. Cheers and cheers. Feng Chi had just entered the tree hole when heavy rain suddenly started pouring outside. She shrank her body and hid herself deeper into the tree hole to prevent the rain from falling on her. After finally living for decades, I can achieve success and retire, but I have to start over again. What the hell? Feng Chi murmured in the tree hole, but the rain was getting heavier and heavier. The strong wind was raging, raindrops fell, and Feng Chi couldn't help but shrink her body. After walking all night, she was really tired. Thinking that the rain might continue for a while, she fell asleep in a daze. Brother, it's still late. That girl left a trail of blood and her whereabouts are unknown. I'm afraid she has already encountered an unexpected situation. Let's look for it again, there's such a big pool of blood stains. She's only six years old and can't walk far, maybe it's around here. I don't know how long it was, but Feng Chi vaguely heard the voice of two men talking outside the tree hole. She frowned and still opened her eyes. The heavy rain has not stopped yet, and the sound of the scattered rain is particularly vivid in the tree hole. There were bursts of footsteps stepping on the water from outside, and Feng Chi shrank her body and became alert. She had just been hit on the head by a hammer dog man. Now, no matter who she met, she couldn't take it lightly. As a killer, she instinctively pulled out her waist before realizing that she had changed her body. This damn occupational disease. Phoenix Delivery roast a word, just a thin voice, but it seems to attract the attention of outsiders. The tree hole where she is located is very hidden, not only covered by multiple large trees in front of her, but also surrounded by a dense pile of grass. Ordinary people cannot accurately locate her position. But it seems that the other person is not an ordinary person. Oh, little girl, you're really alive. The grass was scraped open, and a smiling face suddenly appeared in front of Feng Chi's eyes. It was a face that was not good dot looking, but not ugly. His facial features were straight and three dot dimensional, with clear contours. The bridge of his nose was straight and strong, and his lips were thin and cool yet sexy. The curve of his mouth was slightly curved, with a hint of evil energy. A pair of dark and deep eyes were staring at her tightly at this moment. Brother, here it is. He turned his head to look at the people outside, and after saying these words, 
he looked back at Feng Qi. Looking up and down at Feng Qi, he couldn't help but sigh and say, Little girl, you've been abused, haven't you? Why are you like a little cat? In an instant, he said again, Do you want to come back with me? I'll take care of you. Ah. Feng Chiban was still thinking about how to escape, but the man's cold words stunned her. Conquering demons, don't talk nonsense. At this moment, the voice of another man outside suddenly remembered that it was powerful and not so frivolous. Compared to the voice of the man in front of Feng Chi, it was much more reassuring. I'll just tease her. The man known as the Demon Conqueror stood up and looked at the person behind him. It was a man who looked seven or eight times similar to him, but their temperament was completely different. One was wild and unrestrained, and the other was calm and composed. The grand offering brought us here, not to make you tease her. Got it, got it, long-winded. Shamal waved his hand, seemingly impatient. He gave a glance to the man in front of him and said, Qian Jun, why don't you take her out with your hands? It's not that you said you're raising her, but you're not taking it out. The man, who was called Qian Jun, raised his eyebrows and had no intention of taking action. This child may have snake venom on him. If you don't take it, let me take it. It's just snake venom, what are you afraid of? I don't know when, but suddenly a pencil-sized stick appeared in the demon slaying hand. He gently turned the stick and said without hesitation, you and I are both titled Dolo. Are you still afraid of this mere snake venom? I'm not afraid. Qian Jun replied, releasing his body's soul power. He used his soul power to shatter the big tree. Feng Qi in the tree hole was startled and quickly raised her hand to protect her injured head. She closed her eyes tightly, but the imagined pain did not appear in her hand. Don't you know how to dodge, little girl? The unrestrained voice reached Feng Qi's ears, and Feng Qi's mind was fixed. Her body shrank, and before she could retract her hands, she felt her body being embraced by a broad embrace. Let's take it back first. She has suffered a serious injury and needs to be treated as soon as possible. Qian Jun glanced at Feng Qi and easily concluded that she was seriously injured. He subdued the demon and hugged Feng Qi, nodding. He lowered his gaze to look at the little girl in his arms and said softly, Little girl, don't worry, we are not bad people. If you are injured so badly and don't receive treatment soon, you will die. Dot. Before Feng Qi could answer, the three of them suddenly disappeared into this forest. Marshall Soul Hall, Guest Room. After subduing the demon and Qian Jun brought the person back, they divided their troops into two routes. Qian Jun went to the Temple of Worship to report to the Grand Worship Qian Oliu, while subduing the demon took Feng Qi to the guest room to settle down and also called for a healing soul master to show Feng Qi. Feng Qi was a bit uneasy, but with her current strength, she couldn't compete with the demon subduing, so she didn't make any moves on the way to the Martial Soul Hall. The room arranged by demon subduing for Feng Qi was the one Qian Renxue had lived in before. It had all the necessary facilities and was quite cozy. At least, girls should like it. Along the way, he also sensed Feng Qi's unease, perhaps because of this, he chose this guest room for Feng Qi to stay in. Feng Qi's body was dirty and her hair was messy. As soon as the healing soul master entered the guest room, he couldn't help but be stunned. Hurry up and take a look. The demon was leaning against the window and couldn't help but urge. Yes, seven offerings are made to adults. The healing soul master quickly responded, and he walked up to Feng Qi to release his soul power. He first performed a full body examination on Feng Qi. During the examination, he noticed some abnormalities and couldn't help but mutter, Does this child actually have snake venom on his body? End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Carrying Snake Venom. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Carrying Snake Venom Even though he spoke softly, the demon slayer by the window still listened to the words of the healing soul master. 
He played with the demon slaying pestle in his hand in a bored manner, and couldn't help but lower his eyes to look at his palm. Well, it's a bit green. At this moment, Qian Jun, who had finished reporting to Qian Dao Lu, also arrived at the guest room. How is the situation? As soon as he entered the door, he ran straight to Feng Qi's body, glanced at the healing soul master next to him, and asked. The healing soul master furrowed his brows, as if feeling a bit strange. He spoke calmly, it's really a miracle that this child can live to this day. How do you say this? Qian Jun glanced at Feng Qi and asked. After listening to the demon, he also walked to Feng Qi's side from the window. If the guess is true, this child's vitality should be protected by her own martial soul. Is it protected by one's own martial soul? Defeating the demon and making a sound, I couldn't help but take a few more glances at Feng Qi. Feng Qi and he looked at each other, but there was no other emotional color in their eyes. She listened quietly to the healing soul master's words. After undergoing some treatment just now, her body clearly became much lighter, and she herself was not aware of the rules of this world. Therefore, if she could understand more, it would only be beneficial for her, not harmful. Her martial soul should be a special existence, but I am not sure exactly what it is. Additionally, her body contains a very strong snake venom that can spread to the skin or mix in the blood. If not controlled soon, her entire body will become poisonous. The healing soul master said seriously. What can be used to control it? Qian Jun asked. Feng Qi's body was poisonous, and he and the demon had already recognized it. However, they were not sure what Feng Qi's martial soul was, and naturally did not know what the poison on her body was. There are many types of snake venom, and if it is too strong, it may require herbs to nourish this girl. The demon subduing gaze fell on Feng Qi, who extended his hand to the healing soul master and said, The toxin is here, check it out. Old Seven, are you poisoned? Qian Jun exclaimed in surprise. He quickly looked at the palm of the demon slaying hand, which was a green mist of toxins. They formed a ball in the palm of the demon slaying hand, following the patterns on the palm and penetrating slightly. However, as a tidal dolua, the poison did not penetrate into his blood so quickly for him. Upon seeing the situation, the healing soul master hurriedly examined the palm of the demon slaying palm. He used his soul power to explore the poisonous mist, but found that the terrifying mist did not contain any poison. Seven offerings to the Lord, this, no poison. He reached out and touched the palm of the demon slaying hand, and the poisonous mist crawled into his palm along his fingertips. The healing soul master frowned slightly and then brought the poisonous mist to Feng Qi's eyes. Little girl, touch it, he said, dot. Feng Qi obediently reached out and touched it. As expected, this poisonous mist once again entered her body. The healing soul master suddenly realized, I know, this poisonous mist is the master. Its owner did not give the order to release it, so it just looks scary, but in reality, it will not harm human life. After speaking, Qian Jun and Xiang Mo both looked at Feng Qi together. Feng Qi pursed her lips, she just wanted to see what her abilities were. All right, since it's not poisonous, then it's okay, sir. How can we control the toxins on her body? Qian Jun asked. I will come to suppress the toxin for her every once in a while, please rest assured, Lord Lu, said the healing soul master, bowing down. Well, hard work. Six offerings are important to the Lord. The healing soul master said, besides, the injuries on this child's body are almost concentrated on his head, which is a fatal blow. It is fortunate that his brain is not affected. As he finished speaking, he seemed to have thought of something and raised his hand to make a, one, gesture, asking, what is this? Dot. Phone delivery. One, please, although her mind has been hammered, she can still recognize one, two, three, and four clearly. Next, the healing soul master compared several numbers and asked Fong Pai to say that she was all right. 
the healing soul master finally breathed a sigh of relief and said, this child is not a big brain problem, but his physical condition is still too weak. I suggest that he first take some time to recuperate and support himself. Feng Chi said, dot. Is it difficult for her to make ends meet? Okay, thank you, sir. Qian Jun nodded and the healing soul master bowed again, saying, six offerings are important to the Lord. After the words fell, the person turned around and retreated. And Qian Jun didn't stay in the guest room much. He gave a few orders to subdue the demon and then left here as well. In just a moment, there were only two people left in the entire guest room. Demon Subduing and Phoenix Delivery Feng Qi sat on the bed, still untainted, and now she looked like a little beggar. She subdued the demon and looked at her, not knowing where the stick came from. She kept spinning on her fingers and said, What's your name? He raised his eyebrows and asked. Phone delivers. The little girl sitting on the bed calmly replied. Phone delivery. After thinking for a moment, aren't all the people in Lingxi village surnamed Li? Your name is Li Fengqi. This name sounds really unpleasant. The demon subdued and thought to himself. My name is Phone Qi. Phone delivery remained indifferent. Oh, the demon responded and reached out to tug at Feng Qi's tattered clothes, feeling a bit disgusted. You should change your clothes too, shouldn't you, Dot? Feng Qi lifted her eyes and gave a demonic glance through her long black hair. If it weren't for the current unclear situation, she would not have stayed here. Here it is. Demon Subduing took out a set of pure white long dresses from the soul guide and handed them to Feng Qi. Your figure is similar to that of Xiao Xue two years ago. This is the clothes I planned to give Xiao Xue before. You should be able to wear them. There is a place to take a shower over there. You should have a good sleep today, and tomorrow, you can make your own arrangements. Dot. Feng Qi took the long dress handed over by the demon, and lowered her eyes to scan. This was a silk dress, very precious. When she was a killer, she couldn't afford to kill a hundred people. It seems that she has met a group of wealthy people. With lowered eyes, Feng Qi said, Thank you, I will pay you back the money in the future. Hmm repaying the money. The demon looked at her and couldn't help but feel amused. Feng Qi pulled down the long hair hanging in front of her, and a pair of bright eyes showed up in front of the demon. I know this garment is very valuable. If I wear it, it belongs to me. Since it belongs to me, I have to pay, she said Feng Qi's appearance may not be top dot notch, but her facial features are still delicate. However, at this moment, she is thin, weak, malnourished, and her skin is a bit dull, so she can only be considered an ordinary and ordinary looking child. Although she looks very ordinary, what she says is truly touching. What's your name? Feng Qi asked. Conquer the demon. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Testing Soul Power. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Testing Soul Power Subdue the Demon and Chuckle Softly. Sure enough, this child is special. Half a month ago, a celestial anomaly occurred and a sudden movement occurred in the angel deity statue enshrined in the temple. Qian Dao Lu, the Grand Deity, felt uneasy and sent six deities, Qian Jun Dolua, and seven deities, Demon Subduing Dolua, to investigate the anomaly. The change occurred in the Spirit Snake Village at the border of the Heavenly Doe Empire. The village is very ancient and backward, and it is said that there has not been a decent soul master for a hundred years. After receiving orders from Qian Jun Dolua and Demon Subduing Dolua, they immediately rushed to the spirit snake village to investigate. From the soul master who arranged to awaken the martial soul in Lingxi village, the two of them learned that a special child had indeed appeared in Lingxi village. However, before they could arrive, the villagers of Lingxi village drove the child out of the village. They searched all the way and finally found Feng Qi. The demon conqueror knew in his heart that the child in front of him might not be truly only six years old, 
so even if Feng Qi said something different, he wouldn't feel anything strange. Whoever made this child, he is a special existence. Feng Qi looked at the subduing demon with a light smile and suddenly felt that the man in front of her was quite good. Looking. All right, everything you need to do is your own business. I'll pick you up tomorrow and go to Big Brother's place. There are some things that need to be confirmed. Unconsciously, the demon subdued and reached out to touch Feng Qi's head. Feng Qi let out a long hiss and quickly dodged the head killing. She frowned and said, I've hurt my head. Why are you touching my head? Oh, I forgot, haha. Uh -huh. The demon slaying hand paused slightly before taking it back. He smiled and said, I thought he cured you. Feng Qi said, dot. Although the expression of subduing the demon was not worthy of beating, at least it was someone who gave her a place to live and gave her new clothes to wear, so she didn't bother so much. Seeing that Feng Fen remained silent and subdued the demon, he didn't find it boring. Finally, after instructing Feng Fen on some precautions, he left the guest room to play with his own affairs. Watching the demon subdue and leave, Feng Qi only took off her clothes and entered the bathroom to take a shower after confirming that there was no one else outside the room. In the middle of the night, Feng Qi changed into a pure white dress given by the demon, and after taking a shower, she scattered her black long hair on her shoulders. After washing away the dirt on her face, her watery and lotus-like face appeared somewhat pitiful. Feng Qi looked at her face in the mirror and didn't quite like it. But if you don't like it, you can't change your face, so you can only choose to accept it. She stood up and walked to the window to open it. The cool breeze struck, and she closed her eyes, feeling the coolness before her heart slowly calmed down. This world is very different from the one she is in. Based solely on the memory of this body, she cannot survive in this world. Can't we just live in the forest and be with a group of snakes? That's too painful. Feng Qi thought this way, but in reality, she had already made up her mind. Tonight, let's have a good night's sleep. Sleep peacefully all night. The next morning, the demon came and called Feng Qi to wake up. Feng Qi slept well and naturally didn't have much energy to wake up. But mostly, it's because she didn't sleep much when she was a killer, so being able to sleep for four or five hours here is already very satisfying for her. After having breakfast brought by the demon slaying in the room, Feng Qi followed him to the main hall of the worship hall. On the way, Feng Qi couldn't help but ask, what are we going to do today? In the martial soul hall, the palace is magnificent and magnificent, with a group of guards. Feng Yiguang looked around and knew that the man in front of her was definitely not simple. And when he heard Feng Qi's words, he didn't hide anything. He said straightforwardly, I want to confirm your martial soul and your soul power. If it's suitable, you can stay at the Martial Soul Academy to study. If that's not appropriate, Feng Qi asked. Not suitable, subdued the demon with a gentle smile. That's impossible. Oh, Feng Qi responded faintly. Indeed, she didn't know what her martial soul was yet. All she knew was that her martial soul was possessed like the man who came to awaken her martial soul. Additionally, it seemed that the crystal ball shattered when the man was testing her soul power. To this day, she still remembers how frightened the man was when he looked at her. Offering to the main hall of the temple today is a rare gathering of the seven sacrifices. Early in the morning, Qian Dao Lu called them for a meeting. Now that the meeting is over, Guang Ling originally wanted to leave quickly, but because he heard last night that Qian Jun the demon subduing brothers had picked up a special child, he stayed for a while longer. Great Offering Demon slaying led Feng Qi into the main hall, and a majestic force emanated from her. Feng Qi looked up and saw an angel statue emitting golden light. She was dignified yet warm. Is this that special child? Guangling Dolua spoke first, and he looked up and down at Fan Fengqi, but didn't see anything special. What is her martial soul? Old Wu, don't say a word, Ching Wan Dolua, standing opposite him, couldn't help but speak out and stop. He frowned slightly, 
indicating that Guangling should not speak at this moment. Guangling pursed her lips, although reluctant, she still chose to shut up. Under the angel statue, a burly blonde man with his back facing Feng Chi raised his hand and gestured to subdue the demon to stand aside. Understanding the meaning of subduing the demon, he nodded and walked over to stand next to Qian Jun. At this moment, Feng Chi felt like a weak little deer surrounded by a group of big men watching, which was extremely unpleasant. She frowned slightly and before she could speak, the man who was originally standing directly above flashed up to her and said, Child, don't be nervous. A calm voice came from above, and Feng Chi's eyebrows relaxed as she instinctively looked up. I saw Qian Dao Lu looking at her with love, while at the same time, a reassuring aura emanated from his body. Feng Chi's heart instantly calmed down as she looked at Qian Dao Lu, unable to help but marvel at the special aura emanating from this person. Child, concentrate and release your martial soul. Qian Dao Lu guided. Feng Chi has already awakened her martial soul, so there is no need for them to awaken her again. Now, all you need to do is confirm her martial soul type and innate soul power. Well, good. Following the guidance of Qian Dao Lu, Feng Qi closed her eyes. Under the gaze of everyone, a colorful light suddenly emanated from her body, which bloomed throughout the entire hall. After a moment, Feng Qi's body began to change. Her legs turned into a sturdy snake body under the light, and a mark appeared between her eyebrows. The mark was a light blue small snake, emitting a faint and murderous aura. At the same time, the colorful light emanating from her body also converged into a colorful stone, quietly floating on her chest. This is. Qian Dao Lu looked at Feng Qi and frowned slightly. It seemed that the release of her martial soul had been complete. Feng Qi slowly opened her eyes, and a green light flashed from her eyes. A thousand streams of flowing light moved slightly, and she couldn't help but widen her eyes. Is this. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Congenital 20. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Congenital 20 Ontology Martial Soul. In front of Qian Dao Lu, Feng Qi's eyes had gradually transformed into snake pupils, which were as black as ink and seemed particularly discordant in human eyes. Lingxi Village has always produced snake-like beast martial souls. How could this child be like this? Can this thing be considered as a physical martial soul? Qian Dao Lu frowned slightly and focused his gaze on the colorful stone at Feng Qi's chest, as if Feng Qi's soul power and aura were emanating from that stone. Reach out and touch this crystal ball. In front of Feng Qi, a light blue crystal ball slowly emerged, and a thousand majestic and gentle voices came to guide Feng Qi's movements. Feng Qi reached out and just as she touched the crystal ball, it hissed and numerous cracks appeared. Has it surpassed innate full soul power? A thousand streams murmured. There are really many surprises for this child. Hiss. However, at this moment of contemplation, the crystal ball suddenly shattered, and Qian Dao Lu fixed his gaze, releasing his soul power and sweeping it aside. Then, he personally came to test Feng Qi's soul power, saving the trouble of retesting again. After completing the soul power test, Qian Dao Lu taught Feng Qi how to retrieve her martial soul. After Feng Qi retrieved her martial soul, he finally announced her innate soul power. Level 20 Level 20 The person who spoke out was the prominent Bao Wu offering the light feather dolo. With a flash, he walked up to Feng Qi and said, Big brother, this little girl's movie is not a twin martial soul, and it's not a divine soul ring. How could it be that she has an innate soul power of level 20? He crouched down and looked at Feng Qi level, his eyes full of glances at the child. Feng Qi, on the other hand, looked at Guang Ling with a slightly wary expression and couldn't help but take a few steps back. At this moment, the demon subduing demon arrived behind Feng Qi at an unknown time. He reached out and supported Feng Qi's back, preventing her from further retreating after taking two steps. 
Then, he pulled the person aside and squatted down to face Guang Ling, saying, this was all personally measured by Big Brother. There's no room for falsehood. Fifth Brother, you suddenly flashed in front of the person, which scared the little girl. Are you scared? Guang Ling raised her eyebrows and didn't seem to want to face the demon. A man of all sizes, what's good about him? Guang Ling turned her head and looked at Feng Qi, who had been pulled aside by the demon. Big brother, is this girl directly sent to the Martial Soul Academy? Hmm. Qian Dao Lu nodded. How could a soul master born at level 20 not be placed in the Martial Soul Hall? Little girl, what about you? Would you like to stay here? Guang Ling asked with a smile on her face. This child's emotions are much more stable than those of an ordinary six-year-old child. Just now, when he deliberately ran up to her, she didn't panic at all, and her eyes showed an unwarranted sense of vigilance. Because of this, Guangling paid more attention to Feng Qi. Not just the light feather, but the other worshippers also noticed it, but it wasn't as obvious as he appeared. Faced with Guangling's inquiry, Feng Qi blinked lightly. She pondered in her heart and finally nodded, I am willing. Now her own strength is not strong enough. If she leaves here, Feng Qi doesn't know where she can go. Instead of wandering aimlessly outside, it's better to stay here. At least her food and clothing needs will not be reduced, and this group of people looks very advanced. They must have a good understanding of the world. As a killer, she won't do anything harmful to herself. That's it. Just send it directly to the Martial Soul Academy. Anyway, it just happens to start school. Martial Soul Academy, what is that place? Feng Qi looked at Guang Ling and tilted her head, seeming a bit silly. However, before she could ask her own question, the six offering thousand Jun Dolua spoke out first, she can't go to the Martial Soul Academy yet. Why? Guang Ling looked at Qian Jun and squinted. Qian Jun said, because this child's physical condition is very poor, it's still a problem whether she can support her. Let her take care of her for a year first. After one year, when her body improves, it's not too late to send her to the Martial Soul Academy. Is her physical condition very poor? Guang Ling instinctively checked Feng Qi's body with soul power. Feng Qi felt a chill all over her body, and she couldn't help but shiver. After a moment, Guangling spoke faintly, it's really true. Upon hearing this, Qian Dao Lu didn't know what he was thinking in his heart. He fell silent for a moment and said, then let's take care of it for a year and arrange it in the guest room. Yes, big brother. A thousand Jun responded. Subsequently, the other worshippers left the temple one by one, subdued the demon and walked to Feng Qi's body, gesturing, aren't you leaving yet? Are you planning to stay here, dot? Feng Qi glanced at him. Dogs cannot spit out ivory from their mouths. I don't know the way, she said lightly. Oh, then just follow me. Subduing the demon, she turned around and walked slowly towards the outside of the palace. Feng Qi saw this and immediately followed. On the way, Feng Qi remained silent, as if thinking about something. The demon subdued and noticed that her mind was absent, but she didn't say anything. As a child who has not yet been exposed to the outside world, even though Feng Qi's mind is full of doubts, he doesn't find it strange to subdue demons. But to put it another way, the demon subdued and lowered his eyes to look at Feng Qi. The child's martial soul was indeed strange. What is that? Beast martial soul. Or is it the body martial soul? He is not quite sure. Strictly speaking, it was the first time he had seen such an unclassifiable martial soul. Is innate soul power at level 20 impressive? As she walked, Feng Qi suddenly raised her own question. Now her body's memory is devoid of any nourishment. Feng Qi thought for a while, but couldn't come up with a result. So she asked to subdue the demon. That's really amazing, nodded the demon, dot. How impressive is it? Before Feng Qi could ask back, 
the demon subdued and spoke up, but I can't explain the specifics to you in a few words. You should go back and rest today and wait for the medicinal bath. When you have time, I'll explain it to you. Oh. The demon subdued and didn't want to say anything, so Feng Chi didn't ask. When the ship arrived at the bridge, it would naturally straighten out. Let's wait. Anyway, she has plenty of time, the top priority is to save her life. Besides, what exactly is her martial soul? Why haven't those high-willed people explained it clearly? Is it difficult? She's really a monster. Feng Chi was a bit depressed. The memories in her body were almost covered by the fear of the villagers in Lingxi village. No matter what she thought, the fear and panic of that group of people would come to her mind. They beat her, cursed her, called her a monster, an ominous person, and even cursed when driving her out of the village for a kilometer. If it weren't for the monster, it would have been passed down as a monster, right? It's really outrageous. In no time, the demon conqueror took Feng Qi to the Healing Soul Master. The Healing Soul Master stayed up all night and specially prepared a medicine package for Feng Qi to enhance her physique. He handed the package to the demon conqueror, but he didn't take it. The Healing Soul Master felt a bit embarrassed and smiled awkwardly, handing it to Feng Qi. Feng Qi took it and said, Thank you. Then, the demon conqueror took Feng Qi to the guest room, and he went back to the demon conquering hall. He wasn't a servant, so he didn't bother to help the little girl take care of her. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Sister Xiaoxue You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Sister Xiaoxue A month later, under the nourishment of the medicinal bath and the wealth of the demon slaying, Feng Qi's whole body became much more spiritual. She could clearly feel that her body was undergoing subtle changes. At the same time, she also understood the meaning of martial soul and soul power, and read some annotated books. However, she still did not know what kind of martial soul she was, only knew that the name of the martial soul was Ling Snake, which she had dreamt of one day. On that day, Feng Qi fell asleep on the table after reading the picture books that the demon had brought her. When the demon arrived outside the guest room, he happened to see Feng Qi sleeping with the window open. After seeing Feng Qi, he looked around as if looking for something. Finally, he went to the grassland to pick a dogtail grass. Ah ah, ah cho. In her sleep, Feng Qi felt a tickling sensation at the tip of her nose. She reached out and touched it, then adjusted her posture and changed direction to sleep. Unexpectedly, the tickling sensation at the tip of her nose followed her until she woke up and sneezed, only to realize that she was actually subdued and teasing her with dog tail grass. Subdue the Demon Feng Qi stood up and slammed the table angrily, sneezing non-stop. Azu! 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 Sneezing one after another, Feng Qi felt her nose uncomfortable and tight. However, the culprit not only did not blame herself, but also smiled a bit of schadenfreude outside the window, ha ha ha, ah chi, is it okay to be a bit polite? Can you summon the demon? Hurry up, call grandpa. Master, you big head ghost. You stinky old man with only a six-year-old child in his mind. Feng Qi was angry at the moment, not to mention asking her to call her grandpa. Whether or not to call her, dog thing, could be considered as her respect for others. Hey hey. How are you talking, what a stinky old man. Speak well. The demon subduing palm landed on the back of Feng Qi's head, but his face was extremely beautiful. With his flowing movements, he seemed to have formed a habit. Although Feng Qi spoke like this, he was not at all annoyed, but rather happy. The interaction between the two of them was like that of two living treasures. And these days, Feng Qi has also become familiar with subduing demons. She knew what kind of temperament demon conquering was, easy going, atmospheric, and had a good conversation with her. So on a dark and stormy night, demon conquering brought two jars of wine to her to drink. Originally, 
She didn't plan to drink, but Demon Conquering insisted that she drink. Drink as she pleased. Who knew that none of the two could drink, so she slept on the roof for the night. The next day, Feng Chi contracted a cold and was hospitalized. At the same time, there is also bad news. Demon slaying was the act of stealing wine from a thousand treasures and drinking it. These two charges were combined, and demon slaying was severely scolded. After only seven days of confinement, he was released. If this is not released, it will cause trouble again. It's strange that I can talk to you well. Feng Chi covered her nose and cursed, sneezing too frequently. Suddenly, a few tears welled up in her eyes, and coupled with her bright and charming eyes, she looked a bit pitiful. It's like subduing a demon and bullying her. As a fierce man, where can a girl shed tears when he subdues the demon? Immediately, he threw away the dog tail grass and wiped away the tears from the corners of Feng Chi's eyes. He pretended that Feng Chi had not shed any tears and said, Hey, wait, Ah Chi, don't shed any tears yet. I have good news to tell you. Dot. Feng Chi looked at him with charming and charming eyes, but the demon was clear in her heart. At this moment, Feng Chi couldn't help but curse him in her heart. Just as I mentioned to you before, Xiao Xue has returned from her outing. Ah Chi, do you want to go play with her? The demon subduing hands were propped up on the window, staring at Feng Chi like this. Feng Chi's eyes lit up and he said, Really? Of course it's true. Demon subduing said, Exactly. I guess Xiao Xue must also want to see you. After all, in the entire martial soul hall, besides Xiao Xue, you are the only child born at level 20. Where is she? Feng Chi asked directly, not caring about what the demon had said. She only wanted to find a playmate of similar age to talk to, otherwise dealing with demon slaying all day would be too tiring for her body, while dealing with other worshippers would be exhausting for her heart. Overall, after a month, she was exhausted both physically and mentally, and in the end, she hadn't asked anything useful. Seeing Feng Chi being so proactive, he couldn't help but step in and say, you call me grandpa, and I'll take you to find her. Dot. A basin of cold water poured down, and Feng Chi gave a white and demonic glance. Dream it. As soon as she finished speaking, she stood up and pushed the demon slaying hand out. Then, with a bang, she closed the window and said, I love to say it or not. Hey, no, is it that difficult for you to call the grandpa to listen? Locked outside the window, the demon subdued and walked down the road, pushing open the door to the guest room and entering. At this moment, an excited voice of a girl suddenly came from outside the door, Grandpa Guangling, hurry up. Is she in this room, or is she in that room? The one in front. A familiar voice of helplessness reached the ears of the demon slaying, and the demon's eyebrows lightly raised. Speak of Chow Chow, and Chow Chow will arrive. Azu, without seeing the person, let's hear their voice first. The girl who appeared in front of Feng Chi and the demon conqueror was a little girl with golden hair. The little girl was wearing a pure white lace long skirt, with fair skin like jade, delicate and beautiful eyebrows and eyes, like an angel walking out of the painting, which was joyful. Demon subduing grandpa. The little girl smiled and waved her hand, treating it as a greeting. Then, she shifted her gaze to Feng Fun. At this moment, Guangling, who was behind the little girl, arrived late. He was not surprised to see the demon subdued here. The two of them exchanged a glance and chose to go out together without realizing it. When I went out, I also brought the door with me. Dot. The two adults left, and there were only two little people left in the room. The little girl was named Xian Renxue, the daughter of the current Pope Qian Xuanji, who was also the granddaughter of the current Grand Worship Qian Daolu. According to Feng Qi's understanding, she was a child born at level 20 in front of the Martial Soul Hall, the Martial Soul, and the Six-Winged Angel. Are you what Grandpa Guangling and his team called Feng Qi? Qian Renxue is seven and a half years old this year. A few days ago, 
she went on a trip with her father Qian Xuanji. Upon returning, she heard that there was an additional child of innate level 20 in the martial soul hall, both of whom were innate level 20. Without saying a word, she pulled her light feather to find Feng Pai. As soon as she saw Feng Pai, she felt even more delighted and blinked her watery and spiritual big eyes curiously, looking towards Feng Pai. Being stared at by such a cute little angel, Feng Qi was a bit stunned. She nodded and said, Yes, I am Feng Qi. Are you, Sister Xiaoxue? Mmm hmm. Ah Ch, you're younger than me, so you should call me sister. Qian Renxue nodded vigorously, looking very happy. She walked up to Feng Chan and grabbed his hand, saying enthusiastically and curiously, By the way, Ah Cha, what is your martial soul? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 A Delivery A Delivery You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 A Delivery A Delivery My Martial Soul Feng Chu thought for a moment and said, Perhaps it's a spirit snake, right? Perhaps. Qian Renxue leaned in front of Feng Chu's face and reached out to pinch her face, saying, Sister A Chu, you've been awakening your martial soul for a month now. Don't you still know what your martial soul is? MMM, Feng Qi looked at her and the two looked at each other. Qian Renxue paused and said, Would you also be a divine bestowed martial soul? After all, you are born at level 20. God bestowed martial soul. What is that? Feng Qi blinked her eyes, somewhat puzzled. Her current height is slightly different from that of Qian Renxue, possibly due to malnutrition. Overall, she looks several years younger than Qian Renxue. Qian Renxue withdrew her hand and put on a small adult look, circling around Feng Pai, saying, This actually refers to the martial soul bestowed by the gods, which is more powerful than ordinary martial souls and can visually change the physique of soul masters. Generally, only divine candidates or spokespersons can possess it. I am born at level 20 and have a divine bestowed martial soul, so ah pai, you should also be a divine bestowed martial soul, right? I don't know about this, Feng Qi shook her head. When she awakened her martial soul, there was nothing unusual, and the group of worshippers didn't tell her that she was a divine bestowed martial soul, only that she was very special and a special existence. That's it, Qian Renxue pursed her lips. It seemed that Sister Aki really didn't know anything. When asked, she pursed her lips and said, Sister Aki, can you show me your martial soul? When she said these words, Qian Renxue's eyes seemed to have stars, looking very curious and hopeful. MMM good. Feng Qi hesitated a bit, but still nodded. She took a few steps back, leaving enough space to release her martial soul. Qian Renxue looked at her with anticipation in her eyes. After a moment, a soul power appeared on Feng Qi's body, accompanied by a flash of blue light. Then, Feng Qi's body began to slowly change. Human snake body. Qian Renxue Duan was stunned and said, Oh my goodness. What kind of ghost is this? So cool. After Feng Qi's martial soul was completely released, Qian Renxue coldly uttered these words. She quickly leaned in front of Feng Qi, looked left and right, and finally fixed her gaze on the colorful stone on Feng Qi's chest. Sister A Qi, it turns out that your martial soul is really a spiritual snake. This stone looks so special. Is it your weapon? Dot. Qian Renxue chattered and asked, seemingly without any fear. Feng Qi couldn't help but be stunned by this. She, surprisingly not afraid. Sister Azu. Seeing Feng Qi not answering, Qian Renxue couldn't help but tilt her head to look into her eyes. Feng Qi's eyes turned into snake pupils after releasing her martial soul, so Qian Renxue couldn't see her stunned state at this moment. Ah delivery ah delivery. Qian Renxue lifted her hand and waved in front of Feng Qi, you can't miss it, can you? No, Feng Qi regained her senses and glanced open. Don't you think I look terrible like this, she lowered her eyes and asked. 
In fact, when she first saw her martial soul, Feng Qi was also afraid, but fortunately, she was a killer before and had good psychological endurance. Otherwise, if she had to come from a normal person, she would probably be scared to death. So, she didn't blame the people in Lingxi village for beating her like a monster afterwards. After all, it does look quite unique. Afraid. Qian Renxue's big eyes bolted around and said, don't be afraid, why should I be afraid? Ah Chi, you look so cute. I haven't had time to like you yet. Although your martial soul is a bit special, it's much more than your ugly martial soul. I'm not even afraid of them. How could I be afraid of you? It's good if you're not afraid, Feng Qi breathed a sigh of relief. She was really afraid that her martial soul would scare away the hard one peer. After looking around Feng Pai for a while, Qian Renxue seemed to have thought of something. She spoke up and asked, Sister A Pai, it's been a month, and you haven't obtained the soul ring yet. Ah, uh, hmm. Feng Pai nodded and explained, when I first awakened my martial soul, I was hammered by someone, so my body has been very poor. Demon Subduing told me that if my physical fitness is not good, absorbing soul rings may be dangerous, so I can only wait until my body is better to obtain soul rings. Oh, this is it. Qian Renxue pursed her lips and said, that person who hurt you is really damn it. Who said it's not? Feng Qi said, if I ever meet him again, I will definitely kill him. Mm, I'll help you with him then. Qian Renxue said angrily, if you can't beat him, call him grandpa. Grandpa must be able to beat him. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Feng Qi burst out laughing and withdrew her martial soul. She didn't expect this golden-haired little angel sister to be so easy to get along with, so she was worried for so long. In fact, before Qian Renxue came here, the demon slaying had specifically visited her and explained the situation of Feng Qi to her. Feng Qi was an orphan who relied entirely on the support of the villagers when she was young. Finally, at the age of six, she was driven out of the village because her martial soul was despised by the villagers. After leaving the village, she was also attacked, leading to a life or death crisis. After listening, Qian Renxue developed sympathy for Feng Qi, which led to a quick and harmonious relationship between the two. In the following days, Qian Renxue stayed and played with Feng Pai. She took Feng Pai to see the Martial Soul Hall and also introduced the origin of the Martial Soul Hall. Feng Qi listened attentively and also learned about the Martial Soul Hall. It was at this time that she realized that her era was not much better than the one she had been in before. They are all landlord class, feudal society, with imperial power and sectarian influence. Although all parties are restrained, beneath the calm sea, there is hidden turbulence. Half a month later as early winter approaches, the temperature gradually drops. The plum blossom tree outside the guest room courtyard began to quietly bloom, adding a touch of color to this spacious courtyard. On that day, Feng Qi was preparing to read the theoretical book that Qian Renxue had found for her. When she opened the first page, a line of words was written on it, there are no useless martial souls, only useless soul masters. Feng Qi stared at this line of words for a while, but in the end, she closed the book. What nonsense! At this moment, the door of the guest room was suddenly knocked on. Feng Qi got up and went to open the door. Facing you, a cold wind blew in. Subsequently, Qian Renxue poked her head out and appeared in her field of vision. Ah Chi Ah Chi, do you want to go to the library? Library. Feng Pai tilted her head. Mmm, there may be a theoretical book about your martial soul recorded inside. Coincidentally, in a few days, aren't you going to obtain a soul ring? Reading the book can also determine what path to cultivate said Qian Renxue. I can't show you some books directly, but I can take you to the library. How about it, Azu? Do you want to go? Qian Renxue pulled Feng Qi's hand and Feng Qi nodded, hmm, I'll go. Coincidentally, taking advantage of this opportunity, she was able to learn more about the world. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Seeking Trouble for Nothing. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7. Seeking Trouble for Nothing The Library of the Marshall Soul Hall is located in the center of the hall, adjacent to the Pope's Hall. It is a luxurious building that is 100 meters high, with a total of 10 floors. The external building is hemispherical and made of precision steel. The top circle is paved with bluestone, and a whole angel pattern is carved on it, appearing solemn and majestic. Come on, Azu. Xian Renxue held Feng Qi's hand and presented her token. The guards outside did not stop her, but just glanced at Feng Qi again. Feng Qi followed Xian Renxue into the library, where there were 10,000 volumes of books. Each shelf was filled with books, and Feng Qi even had some dizziness at first glance. The book about martial souls is in that area. Xian Renxue pointed in the direction of Feng Qi and walked in the opposite direction. I'll go over there and read the book about soul beasts. If you have anything to do, you can come to me. Okay, thank you, Sister Xiaoxue. Feng Qi nodded and then walked towards the direction pointed by Qian Renxue. In the martial soul area, various books are neatly arranged on bookshelves. Feng Qi casually took out a book to read, which introduced the martial souls of the mainland. Exactly, it's what she wants to see. Immediately, she found a seat and prepared to read seriously. A day passed quickly, but Feng Qi couldn't find any records in the book about her type of martial soul. However, she gained a lot today, at least understanding some of the settings of martial souls and the selection of soul rings. Stepping out of the library, Qian Renxue couldn't help but ask Feng Qi about what path to build. Feng Qi considered for a long time before saying, I want to take the quick attack route. Sensitive attack, well, I know that, Feng Qi nodded and said. It was already time for dinner, so she didn't plan to let Qian Renxue take her back to delay her meal anymore. She then said, Sister Xiaoxue, thank you for bringing me to the library. It's getting late, I'll just walk back and get to know the way. No need to thank you, they're all our own sisters. Don't be polite. Xian Renxue smiled and looked at the sky, realizing that it was indeed getting late. Qian Dao Lu was still waiting for her to eat at home. Ah Qi, then I won't see you off. You should go back as soon as possible and don't linger outside. After it gets dark, the guards will start patrolling. They don't know you, and you may be injured by mistake. Well, I know now, Sister Xiaoxue, we'll see you tomorrow. The two quickly arrived at the intersection where they were going their separate ways. There was already a considerable distance between the Temple of Worship and the Palace of the Pope, and Feng Qi was arranged in the guest room, which was around the palace of the Pope. Well, see you tomorrow. Xian Renxue waved at Feng Qi and watched as she walked for a while before turning around and walking towards the altar. As the sun sets in the western mountains and the sun sets in the west, the orange afterglow scatters on the ground. The buildings in the Marshall Soul Hall seem to be coated with a layer of gold, making them particularly beautiful. Feng Qi walked slowly on the path, jumping stones with each step and humming a tune in her mouth. At this moment, it happened that the students of the Martial Soul Academy had finished school, and batches of soul masters walked out of the academy. Even though Feng Qi was walking on a small path, he could still hear the lively sounds coming from not far away. The Martial Soul Academy is a soul master academy established by the Martial Soul Hall, usually only accommodating soul masters with high talent levels. It is built within the Martial Soul Hall, but it is relatively far from the Papal Hall. In addition, the academy is managed in a closed manner, and Feng Qi has been here for a month, so it is generally rare to see students from the academy. The reason why we can hear this excitement today is probably because the college is on vacation. Speaking of which, she still looks forward to going to school. In her heart, it's better than drinking medicine and taking baths all day long. I don't know when I can go to school. Feng Qi muttered as she walked. Suddenly, a cold wind blew and her eyes tightened. 
years of experience as a killer made her immediately dodge on her side. However, due to her lack of lightness skills and poor health, she couldn't control herself from tilting backwards. Humph, the reaction is quite fast. A crisp male voice rang out, and Fong Chi lowered her eyes behind her. Seeing a stone, she bent down and reached out to support it. Using the strength of her arms, she bounced herself up again and stood firmly on the ground. Who are you? What caught the eye was a young man wearing a school uniform from the Marshall Soul Academy. He held a pair of daggers in his hand, had a handsome face, and a faint smile appeared on his face. However, this smile seemed a bit unfriendly. I'm your classmate, more money than gold, the young man turned the dagger in his hand and said, you're the transfer student who signed up and didn't come to school, right? How much money is it? Fong Chi's mouth twitched, how short of money is your family? I want to give you such a vulgar name. Don't speak ill of my name. As he mentioned his name, the young man seemed a bit dissatisfied with Fong Chi's attitude. His eyes tightened, his eyebrows furrowed gently, and with a kick, he waved his dagger and attacked Fong Chi. I won't let you talk anymore. Fong Chi reached out and drew a soft sword from her waist, directly resisting Jin Duoqian's attack. Jin Duoqian squinted his eyes slightly, but he didn't expect the little girl who looked like a sick seedling to still have a hand. After two rounds of fighting with Fong Chi, under the shadow of swords and knives, Jin Duoqian didn't have the upper hand. Their movements were not very skilled, and their reaction abilities were almost the same. Jin Duoqian couldn't find a breakthrough point, so he retreated to his original position. It seems that you're not as useless as they said. Useless sick seedlings. Fong Pai frowned slightly and said, Who says I'm a useless sick seedling? I'll kill him. She has been taking care of herself in a quiet guest room, and few people have ever seen her before. How could her name still be spread outside? Who did it? Also, he said she was his classmate. She didn't even go to school, where did her classmates come from? Shouldn't they have registered her? What's going on? Did the demon slaying not come to tell her? Thinking of this, Fong Chi couldn't help but recall the unreliable appearance of the falling demon in her mind. This seems like something he can do. Fortunately. After settling down in the martial soul hall, she prepared a soft sword on her body according to her own habits. It was now early winter and late autumn, and her body was not well, so she naturally wore more clothes. It was precisely for this reason that her soft sword was hidden very well, which caught Jin Duoqian off guard. Kill him. You probably won't be enough right now, Jin Duoqian snorted lightly and continued to turn the dagger in his hand. This action looked a bit like when he turned the stick in his hand to defeat the demon. This guy, isn't he a disciple who subdues demons? Fong Pai pursed her lips and said, it's okay to cause trouble. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Truly Unreliable. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8. Truly Unreliable, I just want to see how strong you are, how can you be considered a troublemaker? Jean Duoqian frowned slightly. This little girl is not what they say about being weak and uncontrollable. She is clearly powerful, not only in her agility compared to others, but also in her mouth. Fong Chi looked at him and said, Are you a student of the Martial Soul Academy? Of course. Jin Duoqian replied, picking up a dagger and pointing it at Fong Chi, I want to fight against you alone. Dot. I refuse, Fong Chi said lightly. In terms of skill, you are better than me. In terms of martial soul, I have not yet obtained a soul ring. If we fight alone, even if you win, you will not be able to win. Hmm, Jin Duoqian lowered his eyes and thought for a moment. Does what this little girl said seem quite reasonable? He is indeed stronger than her. However, a guy born at level 20 has not yet obtained a soul ring. It's really strange. Jin Duoqian thought so, and Fong Chi didn't want to entangle with him. She just talked about it. 
who knew this person really thought she couldn't do him, it was really arrogant. Is it okay? If it's okay, I'll go home for dinner. I'm hungry now. As the words fell, Feng Chi put away her soft sword. It has to be said that this soft sword is quite useful, sharp and hard. No way. Seeing Feng Chi turn around, Jin Duo Qian seemed to have thought of something. He put away his dagger, and the wind blew under his feet. He quickly caught up with Feng Chi. He reached out to grab Feng Chi's shoulder, but Feng Chi's eyes twitched and his steps were mysterious. He then reached out to grab Jin Duochen's hand and pressed him half to the ground, saying, What do you want to do? She frowned and said, Didn't I say I'm hungry and want to go back to eat? What, you want to stop me from eating? As an assassin, Feng Chi had never had enough to eat in the previous world. Now that she can finally eat and drink well, whoever wants to delay her cooking will be beaten up by her. Now, more money than gold is an example. Ah uh, ah! Uh. You girl, how amazing are you? Jin Duqin's hand was pressed against Feng Pai's back, and his whole body couldn't move at all. He had never learned the technique of soft bones, and now being pressed against it, his back and waist were particularly painful. Is this called powerful? Dot. Feng Chi raised her eyebrows, raised her feet, and pressed her knees against his back, causing Jin Duo Qian to scream in agony again. Ah. No, you're trying to kill someone. The bending of his body made Jin Duo Qian suffer greatly. His handsome face turned red, and his other leg was almost unable to bear it and knelt down. Feng Chi saw the situation and immediately pulled the person up. The man has gold under his knees. I won't argue with you today. If you dare to stop me again, I will make you kneel here for a day. Hiss. Jin Duo Qian was pulled up and immediately rubbed his waist and back. He bent over and didn't dare to stop Feng Chi at the moment. He had to obediently run to the academy to find a healing soul master to cure himself. In the guest room the demon slaying and a sumptuous table of food had been waiting for a long time, and he was spinning the demon slaying pestle while staring at the door. The next moment, a pure white phoenix appeared in front of him. Finally back. Your food is getting cold, said the demon as he knocked on the table Feng Chi glanced at the steaming food on the table and said, it's still hot. She walked up to the demon slaying body and found an empty seat to sit down. Demon slaying looked at her, and Feng Chi was dressed in pure white clothes. If there was any dust, it would be extremely obvious. As soon as she sat down, demon slaying noticed the dust on her sleeve. Did you fall, he asked. No. Feng Chi lowered her eyes and glanced at her sleeve, recalling the scene when Jin Duo Qian had ambushed her earlier. This sleeve should have been touched by her while supporting the stones. So you're sparring with Xiao Xue? Demon Slaying asked again. No, Feng Chi said while picking up vegetables, someone who has nothing to do came to me for a fight. I accidentally got dirt on my sleeves. Is it okay to cause trouble? Demon Subdued raised his hand and supported his face, looking at Feng Chi. This girl has such a good appetite. Mmm. Feng Chi nodded, just in time to ask what was going on with the demon slaying. She stuffed a piece of meat into her mouth, looked up at the demon slaying, and said, he said I'm his classmate. It's been a month and he hasn't gone to Sangshue, so he wanted to see how powerful I am, so he got into a fight. Upon hearing this, the demon subdued and his eyebrows twitched, as if he remembered something. With a long, oh, sound, he suddenly realized, by the way, ah chi, there's something I forgot to tell you. Phone delivery. Dot. She knew it was unreliable to subdue the demon. The most unreliable ones in this entire temple are the demon subduing and the light feather doluo. If it weren't for the closure of Qian Jun, only demon subduing and the light feather would have had the time to teach her things, she would never have chosen to subdue the demon to the limit. Subduing the demon and withdrawing his hand, he quietly released his soul power and examined Feng Qi's body. 
He found that Feng Chi not only had no internal injuries, but also no skin injuries. This girl demon subduing squinted his eyes slightly and said, At the Martial Soul Academy, I have registered you. Although your body is not completely healthy yet, you still need to learn the theoretical knowledge that needs to be learned. In first grade, there were not many fighting classes, and you won't be bullied if you go there. Oh, Feng Chi worked diligently on the meal without saying anything more to the demon slaying. When Jin Duo Qian said it just now, she had already guessed everything. What was said at the moment of subduing the demon was quite irrelevant. So, as the demon subdued and watched Feng Chi clean up all the dishes on the table, it gradually became dark. By the way, senior demon subduing, when will senior Qian Jun leave the level? Just after finishing her meal, Feng Chi casually asked as she wiped her mouth with a tissue. She really wanted a reliable person to communicate with her. My brother, said the demon after thinking for a moment, at least it will take several more months. Why, do you miss my brother? Conquering the demon and raising his eyebrows, he noticed that the little girl seemed to particularly like his brother. A bit. Feng Chi nodded, mainly hoping for his reliability. Seeing this, Demon Subduing smiled and said, Since that's the case, why don't you worship my brother as your teacher? Don't do it. Feng Chi decisively refused, I'm not foolish. Senior Qian Jun is a weapon and martial soul, and I worship him as my teacher. He can only teach me very limited things, so it's better to worship Senior Qing Wan. She stayed in the library for so long today, it wasn't for nothing. Qian Renxue shared a lot of theoretical knowledge with her. Although she couldn't understand why there were only two categories of martial souls written in that book, with an humble attitude, she didn't say much. Let's just assume that the person who wrote the book had limited knowledge. Hey, what you're saying? Demon subduing. It seems that Xiao Xue has told you a lot, you already know that. Sister Xiao Xue is kind and reliable, unlike someone who knows how to play every day. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Difficulty in Feeding. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Difficulty in Feeding Someone Demon Subduing Are you talking about Brother Wu? You're talking like that, be careful not to get angry with Brother Wu. Phone Delivery Dot Alright, remember to take a medicinal bath tonight. I'll leave first. After leaving this sentence, the tableware on the table disappeared into the room along with the demon slaying. The window was wide open, and the cold dew was heavy at night. The cold wind quickly penetrated the room. Feng Chi trembled all over and pursed her lips, saying, I really have no self-awareness. Closed the window and she went to the bathroom to take a medicinal bath. The next day, Feng Chi still got up early and made an agreement with Qian Renxue to go to the library early. It was just dawn and breakfast had not been delivered yet when she left. The two agreed to meet at the fork in the road. Feng Chi thought she had already woken up early, but who knew that Qian Renxue was even earlier than her. While waiting for Feng Chi to arrive, Qian Renxue bored herself by kicking the stones under her feet. She seemed to be thinking about something and didn't notice Feng Chi's arrival. Good morning, Sister Xiaoxue. She didn't lift her head until Feng Chi made a sound, and a big smile appeared on her face. Ah Chi, why are you so early? You were even earlier than me, Feng Chi smiled slightly, her voice extremely gentle, which also made her look much softer. In the early morning, the wind was strong, and Feng Chi was dressed in red today without a coat. It was particularly I. Catching on this early winter day. Ah Chi, you're not in good health, why don't you wear more clothes? Qian Renxue frowned slightly and said with a hint of blame. Feng Dou pursed her lips and said, My health has improved a lot lately. Before she could finish speaking, Qian Renxue put on the robe she was wearing for Feng Chi and said, Fortunately, I put on the robe and went out today, otherwise you would have to suffer from the cold. As she spoke, Qian Renxue also tidied up Feng Pai's outer robe. 
She looked at Fong Pai with satisfaction and said, Hmm, it looks much better now. Your face is so pale. If you hadn't paid more attention, I would have been worried. Dot. The first time someone cared so much, Fong Chi felt a different feeling in her heart. She looked up at Qian Renxue and smiled slightly, Thank you, Sister Xiaoxue. Oh, they all said it was their own sisters, so don't be so polite. Qian Renxue grinned. She looked at Fong Tuan, and they looked at each other. Then, while Fong Tuan was not paying attention, she directly took her hand, Go, E, today I will take you to learn other knowledge. Dot. Being pulled by Qian Ren Shui, Feng Qi felt a sense of security in her heart. She ran behind Qian Ren Shui, but her eyes remained fixed on the palm that Qian Ren Shui crossed with her. The morning dew fell, the leaves swayed slightly, and the two little girls ran in the wind, laughing and singing. Feng Qi knew for the first time the feeling of having good friends. In this way, Feng Qi and Qian Ren Shui spent a long period of time together. Although Demon Subduing signed Feng Qi up to study theoretical knowledge at the Martial Soul Academy, Qian Ren Shui wanted Feng Qi to accompany her, so this learning matter could only be temporarily delayed. Winter is approaching soon, and Feng Qi's clothes have become heavier. Although her body has always been regulated by medicinal baths, her condition has always been unstable. This medicinal bath sometimes has a strengthening effect on her body, and sometimes it does not, so that her body, which was finally strong, has fallen back to its original shape. Both Guanling and Jiangma couldn't help but comment on this. It turns out it's really difficult to sustain. If it weren't for Feng Qi's exceptional talent, Qian Dao Lu wouldn't have chosen to have the healing soul master treat her wholeheartedly. A soul master born at level 20, possessing a special martial soul, Qian Dao Lu is not a fool either. Since Qian Ren Xue has a good relationship with her, it would be a good thing for her to serve as her auxiliary presence. Heavy snow was falling, and the entire martial soul hall was covered with a layer of frost and snow. Guest Rooms The demon subdued and brought the medicine to Feng Qi's face. Feng Qi looked at him, but did not make any movement. Don't drink, asked the demon. I don't want to drink. If this continues, I will be nurtured into a medicine jar by you. Feng Qi sighed imperceptibly. She didn't know what was going on with her body. Although it had developed in a positive direction in the first two months, who knew that it had returned to its original state in the following month? Is it really difficult for her to support herself? Various spiritual medicines and tonics were applied to her, but she did not improve at all. If it weren't for the fact that the healing soul master said her body had not changed much, she would have felt like she had no medicine to cure. The demon subdued as he looked at Feng Qi and understood her current thoughts. If it were for him, he would also be depressed. Let's live for now. We'll have New Year's Eve dinner later. If you faint on the table, there won't be anything delicious to eat, he said knowing that Feng Qi had a special fondness for food, she had also informed her in advance of the recipe for today's New Year's Eve dinner. Upon hearing that the ingredients were very rich today, Feng Qi immediately drank the medicine brought by the demon. The soul of a cook is the soul of a cook. She loves to cook, but she can't do without eating. How long will the New Year's Eve dinner be held? Feng Qi asked. He sweated and could not help complaining. He is really a glutton. Around 6 p.m., I will come to pick you up then. Is Sister Xiaoxue also here? she asked. Otherwise. Demon Subduing said, the young master is the eldest brother's granddaughter. How could she not be here for the New Year's Eve dinner? Is Sister Xiaoxue's parents also here? Feng Qi thought for a moment and asked again. Conquering the demon. Hmm. Phone delivery. Dot. After getting familiar with Qian Rengshu, she also learned about Qian Rengshu's inability to get along with the Holy Princess. Her Highness the Holy Maiden is the mother of Qian Rengshue, named Bibi Dong. Feng Qi has seen her several times, and she can feel that Bibi Dong really doesn't like Qian Rengshue. However, 
At this time, Qian Renxue still wants to have maternal love. Although she can also feel that Qian Renxue has been disappointed countless times. New Year's Eve dinner can this meal really be enjoyed well? Feng Qi pursed her lips and said, Senior, where is Sister Xiaoxue now? I'm practicing, the demon replied. Why, do you want to find Xiaoxue? Hmm. Feng Pai nodded. Not to mention anything else, Qian Renxue is the one in the entire martial soul hall who treats her best. At this time, of course, she needs to care about Qian Renxue. You can't see her even if you go now. The demon conqueror said, when the young master cultivates, no one is allowed to disturb him. Feng Pai pouted and said, Senior, don't you think eating this New Year's Eve dinner will be very uncomfortable? No, it's been like this all these years. Demon slaying looked at her, knowing in his heart what Feng Qi was thinking. He reached out and touched Feng Qi's head, saying with a smile, You just have ten thousand hearts. No one will put on a bad face at the New Year's Eve dinner. Hiss, don't touch my head. Feng Qi opened her demon subduing hand and frowned, Your Highness, won't she show her face? Of course not, she's a person who knows the big picture. You can rest assured about this, said the demon subduing hand with a gentle smile I don't know why, but after spending a long time with Feng Qi, he found this child quite interesting. In front of him, in front of others, she behaved well and was very gentle. No wonder fourth and sixth brother were worried that she would be bullied when she went to study at the Marshall Soul Academy. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Stable Profit Without Compensation You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 10 Stable Profit Without Compensation The reassuring words came from the mouth of the demon slaying, and Feng Qi really couldn't rest assured. She patted the demon slaying and said, Take me to find Sister Xiaoxue. It's okay for me to wait for her outside. Are you just not believing me like this, said the demon raising his eyebrows from Qian Renxue's mouth, demon subduing learned that Feng Qi often spoke ill of him, with the three words, unreliable, being the main one. Feng Qi could speak n words in a long and lengthy manner, and when Qian Renxue heard this, he would sometimes come to him and ask him not to bully Feng Qi. Demon subduing felt very helpless about this. He had never bullied a Qi, and he just let a Qi rely on himself. Do you think you're worth believing, Uncle Demon Conqueror? Feng Qi pursed her lips and the next moment, she received a fist from Demon Conqueror. The fist lightly hit Feng Qi's head, and Feng Qi let out a, ah, sound, staring at Demon Conqueror with some resentment and saying, what are you doing? Little brat, they all say, Grandpa, can you call uncle? Demon slaying snorted and liked to tease Feng Qi. Feng Qi's identity was quite special, unlike Xiao Shui, who was the young master of his family and sometimes had to pay attention to propriety. However, Feng Qi was different. This child had fun talking, got along well with him, and even had fun playing with him. He liked this kind of person who didn't hold grudges. Looking at the demon slaying face with a smile like a flower, Feng Qi really wanted to punch him, has anyone ever said you deserve to be beaten? Yes. Demon subduing admitted generously, my brother has said that I owe a lot of beating. Big brother, second brother, third brother, and fourth brother have also said that. As for fifth brother, he owes even more beating than me. At least I don't sneak out to play. Ha! Feng Qi snorted with an embarrassed smile. Some people just like to find a cushion for themselves. Compared to a person who walks around all day, being at home makes people feel even more deserving of beating. Demon subduing looked at her with a smile, but didn't say anything. Anyway, everything Feng Qi wanted to say was written on her face. She wasn't a shy person, and this kind of person would be bullied wherever she went out. She bullied others pretty much. Azu, will you go to school after this year is over? The demon deliberately changed the topic and didn't know what plans he was making. Feng Qi glanced at him and propped her chin up with her hand, saying nonchalantly, Anyway, since Sister Xiaoxue is going to practice next year, 
I can't see her every day. It's the same everywhere. But why do you keep asking me to go to school? Didn't your big brother say he wants me to rest for a year? Speaking of which, Feng Chi frowned and said, Did you bring Jin Duo Qian to fight with me? No, Demon Subduing denied, that kid was already a bit mischievous. It's just that the teacher happened to group you and that kid together. This has nothing to do with me. I didn't know he would trouble you. Dot. Feng Chi remained silent and didn't want to expose him. She had already inquired with Qian Renxue, and the reason why Jin Duo Qian was in the same group as her was because she secretly found a teacher from the Martial Soul Academy to subdue demons. Humph, it's really impolite not to admit it yet. Subduing the demon. Don't curse me secretly, I can hear you. Dot. Feng Chi pursed her lips tightly and the two of them stayed quietly for a while. Later, she returned to the main topic and said, Don't digress from the topic, take me to find Sister Xiaoxue. The demon subdued and smiled, Azu, when seeking help, you need to have an attitude of seeking help. You can't always do this. Then I'll go find Grandpa Guangling. Feng Chi stood up, subdued the demon with a gentle, tisk, and then pulled Feng Chi back to sit. I'll take you there, he said, but can you have a better attitude? Okay, Uncle Demon subduing. Feng Chi smiled big, looking sunny and sweet, which was strange and likable. Although he was still very dissatisfied with Feng Chi's nickname, the Demon Conqueror didn't care so much at this time. A Chi took a step back, and if he went any further, he would have to be scolded by Xiao Shui again. Do you want to wear more clothes, he said as he got up and lowered his eyes to look at Feng Chi, wearing a lot. Feng Chi opened her robe and inside was a white plush long dress that was specially given to her by Qian Renxue. It was windproof and warm. Wearing this dress, Feng Chi had never felt too cold. Except when it's close to Guangling. Okay, the demon nodded and led Feng Chi to the angel temple. Qian Renxue's cultivation is almost always conducted in the main hall of the Angel Temple. Occasionally, Qian Xuanji takes her out to experience it, but most of the time, it is still dull and uninteresting, which is why she is enthusiastic about playing with Feng Qi. In the Angel Temple, Qian Dao Lu is brewing tea, and in the courtyard stands an angel statue. To the left of the angel statue, a towering tree is planted, and Qian Dao Lu is leisurely sipping tea under that towering tree. Big brother, Azu is here, said the demon subduing respectfully. In front of Qian Dao Lu, he was still serious and generally not talkative. Feng Qi lifted her eyes and glanced at him. When she got serious, the demon subduing was still very similar to Qian Jun, looking a bit reliable. A delivery. Qian Dao Lu looked towards the direction where the demon was subdued and Feng Qi was located. He raised his hand and gestured for Feng Qi to pass by. Feng Qi nodded and walked over, offering a great tribute to the senior. Feng delivered a respectful and respectful salute. You don't need to be so polite, you can call me grandpa like Xiao Xue. Qian Dao Lu smiled affectionately, emitting a gentle and peaceful aura, giving off a feeling of peaceful time. Feng Qi remained silent for a while, but still didn't mention the word, Grandpa. Seeing this, she added, this girl doesn't really like to call people Grandpa. Big brother, let her do. Well, it's okay if you don't like it. Let's do it according to your own preferences, Lao Qi. Come on, sit down. Qian Oliu suddenly pointed his spear at Jiang Ma and gestured for Feng Qi to sit down. Jiang Ma shrugged and sat next to Feng Qi. The two of them faced Qian Oliu without saying a word. The tea party between these three people looked quite interesting. Not far away, on the vermilion roof, Guangling swayed her feet leisurely. Behind him, Qingluan was also staring at the three-person tea party under the tree. Guangling tilted her head to look at the party and said, Third brother, what do you think big brother will say to Aki? Teaching, Ching Luan replied lightly. Feng Qi is just an orphan with no special identity. 
apart from her high talent, there is nothing special about her. They had a meeting together before the seven major offerings and planned to send Feng Qi to the Pope's palace to secure the position of a saint. In their eyes, the person in power in the Pope's palace is the most important one for them. A Qi is a good choice and she will assist Qian Renxue well. With the resources of the offering hall and the Pope's palace, Feng Qi will not be inferior in the end. It is uncertain that she will still be favored by the gods and receive inheritance. This investment is for their angel lineage, making a steady profit without losing. End of this chapter